What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a performance setting that just came out with the latest version of Starfield that massively will improve your performance. And this is a tutorial that is for PC, but Xbox people are welcome to tag along for the ride. So here we are, we're in New Atlantis. I'll go into my settings here. And this is running at 4K All Ultra. I'm running a 4080 Super with a 7900X3D AMD processor. And the latest version of Starfield introduced FSR3, which stands for Fidelity FX Super Resolution by AMD. Now there's another version that's called DLSS that I'm sure some of you have heard of as well, that's by Nvidia. These are two upscaling technologies, and you need to have your render resolution at the default when you set it, which in this case is 67%, otherwise it kind of defeats the purpose of upscaling your game in order to improve performance. So here in the game, we're running about 77, 78 FPS, but if we go into our settings here, and we enable FSR3, you can now see that you can enable frame generation. And frame generation used to only be available for NVIDIA GPUs that are 4000 series or above. Uh, 3000 series or even the 2000 series were not compatible with this setting using DLSS. However, using AMD's FSR3 is compatible with all GPUs. It doesn't matter if you have an NVIDIA or an AMD, it'll work. So here we just clicked it on in the game and we have already massively improved our performance. We're running at about 120 FPS and it's actually a little bit faster because I'm recording. I might even be able to get another five or 10 FPS. And the problem with frame generation is it comes with a little bit of latency when you turn it on. And I personally cannot tell much of a hit on the latency, just personally, but I always just end up turning on on plus boost. I'm not really sure what the difference between on or on plus boost is. Uh, if you guys if you guys know, let me know in the comments because I'm really not sure what the, the boost plus on really is referring to. But anyway, you can see here, I'm zoomed in. To me, this looks pretty awesome with FSR3. I'm going to our settings here and I'll show you a comparison of DLSS with quality and then essentially with it off because most GPUs are not compatible with frame generation on with DLSS unless you have a 4000 series GPU. And we're in the 80s right now with this 4K. And if I go back in and turn it back on, since I do have a 4000 series, we can turn this setting on. And it jumps up to 100. So even with the frame generation on with DLSS, it's actually 20 frames lower than FSR3's version of frame generation. And to me, this graphically looks identical. I cannot tell a difference. I guess you could try balanced, but I feel like quality is um, pretty close to FSR3 with DLSS. So here I want to show you guys an example. This is on a different computer. I am using a laptop that's 1080p. It has a 2060 and eighth gen Intel, so it has older hardware. And we're running it on medium. And this is the problem with NVIDIA's DLSS. I can turn it on since I have a 2000 series GPU, but you can see that frame generation is grayed out. You cannot enable it because you have to have their latest version of their GPU. And if I click out here, I'm getting a you know measly 38 FPS as you can see in the left side of the screen. I don't have my fancy overlay on this computer. So now we're gonna go ahead and turn FSR3 on. And as you can see, the frame generation is now letting me click that setting on because FSR3 is enabled with all GPUs. And then I always turn on on plus boost. And we have nearly doubled 
our frame rate with this older laptop. Run about 65, 70 FPS. In the city area, it's running about 60. Which is really awesome for a laptop that came out in like 2018. It's not too bad. So if you're running on lower end hardware, this is a great way to just turn on one setting and you're on your way. So if I click it off here again, I'll show you guys and we're in the city, it's running like 30. <laughs> Which, I mean, that's not horrible. I guess Xbox runs at 4K 30, but it's not ideal. So moving back to my other computer here, I'll show you guys some other areas. This is Neon. This is with FSR 3 and frame generation turned on. 133 FPS, like 120, 130, pretty crazy. Go ahead and show you guys with it off. And we're down to about 75. So yeah, I mean, depending on the area and also depending on your hardware, you're gonna see anywhere from a 40 to 50% increase by just turning on that setting. So we've turned it back on here. Let's show you guys the Astral Lounge while we're here, just for fun. Oh yeah, here we go. Take it easy. The lamest club in the galaxy. <laughs> that no one ever moves from a different position. They're just all doing their thing. All right, and then We'll show you guys in Aquila. And the reason I'm showing you Aquila is because this is one of the hardest areas in terms of performance to get like stable FPS. This is with frame generation on and we're in like the hundreds. And then if we go ahead and turn it off, I mean, this is 4K but we're in the 60s. Pretty crazy. That's, like I said, 40% increase. Turn it back on, and then I'll show you guys there's like a vacant planet. We're gonna go to Mercury where there's legit nothing. Although Mercury's pretty solid. Check out my other video. I actually found some pretty solid ship spawns in Mercury. So here we went from it on to off. It was about 45 and then off about like 90. So anyway, that'll do it for this video. If you guys have any questions, let me know down below. Consider subscribing. And as always, have a wonderful day.